What's up everybody? It's your boy Oz with Toe Vibes and I have been extremely busy this week. Uh, I just bought an M2 class Freightliner that uh, I actually did a video earlier today. It was a live and for some reason I had no sound so I did a whole walk around on the truck and what I plan to do and I ended up taking it down because someone messaged me and they're like bro Oz there's no sound so it uh, must be something in one of the settings for my live or something. I'll have to figure it out. But uh, anywho, I got a call for a broken ball joint. And this is a referral from one of the mechanics that I do normal business. It's a guy named Brosuf. He owns a shop called Honest Joe's. And I call him Brosuf because I've known him before I even started doing towing back in my AutoZone days when I was just slanging parts over the counter. So, uh we're gonna go ahead um, pull up to the yard here in a second and then uh, we're gonna hop in a tow truck and see if we can help these people out they're in a real bad spot I guess on the sidewalk almost impeding traffic and he's in a Honda Accord that lost a ball joint which is never fun uh, I myself have lost a ball joint on the highway doing about 75 and it is one of the most scariest things you can ever experience in your life so if you ever hear creaking from your suspension Oh man, I'm getting blown up already. Uh, I gotta go, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull up to this broken ball joint call in the middle of the street here and see if we can help this guy out. He's in a real bad spot. Jesus Christ. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to run over this curb to even get to this guy. Always sketchy. What's up, bud? Man, she's on the ground, all right. Oh, there's some of your suspension right there. Yeah. Oh man, that's an ironic thing. Well, at least you weren't on the highway. It'd be a whole different story. Yeah, I just got off. Real bad That's how you tell. Whenever your suspension starts creaking, it's done. You gotta. And I was like, "Fuck, I'm almost home. I'm almost." Always when it happens, they say everything happens just within a mile of the house. Hey, at least I'm close to home and his job. Yeah, it's gonna be really sketchy doing this because I gotta get a jack up underneath that side. So we're gonna have to shut the street down for a second. Good thing we got some cones right here. They're gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, put a little bit farther back just to keep them away from us. I'd say probably in like the center of the lane right here. We'll put it out a little bit more just to keep them over. Sweet. Yeah, they're really busy right now. It's that time, you know. So go ahead, um, hop in it real quick. Turn that steering wheel to the left.
So we're gonna have to lift this up enough to get this gate up underneath there. Yeah. Well, just stay inside the cones. These people are ridiculous. I'm about to punch somebody. No, you're okay, darling. It's okay. We just gotta teach people a lesson in uh, proper etiquette here on road safety. Honestly, I like to take them wheels off. It just gives me more access and stuff and gives me kind of, you guys could stand over on this side. Honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather you guys on this side because one of these crazy people come flying over. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere over here is good because we could replace all this. We can't replace you guys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't worry. I'm a ninja. They, they ain't gonna get me. I'll do a triple backflip and just be out, you know. Let me see if that'll give it enough lift. Actually, what I should do, uh, that'll give me enough lift. Okay, let's see how that works. underneath that tire.
motor going good. ball joints like that the other one's not far off because you got your uppers and your lowers yeah you know? that, i knew that time was freaking real bad yeah i replaced this upper yeah that, or the last time i had it out i don't see any transmission fluid or oil so i think you kind of maybe hopefully got lucky on this one and joe will be able to just throw some suspension on it and call it a day We'll see. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. I paid 500 bucks for it. Like Damn, bro, you were way ahead of the game right now. <laughs> well, you're taking it to a good mechanic, that's for sure. Yeah, Joe's my brother from another mother. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm the dumbass that would hit these. Oh yeah. Yeah, you paid 800 for it. You got that. You're doing good as hell. out pretty good you see it's got the ball joint scheme where i want it i got my skate right there on the tire so i didn't have to take them off usually i take them off so that way the wheel doesn't push up into the car or anything but i was able to do it without it so. good strapped this bad boy in and we gone it's literally going a half a mile
money on it. I have to worry about that other wheel because I got the V Birdle on it and it's going freaking one mile. So. brother i think the key's still in it um i'll meet you over there at joe's okay all right oh yeah we'll get him over forgot about that probably shouldn't leave him here as much as i'd like to So we went ahead, got it all strapped in, and uh, we're gonna bring it over to Joe's here. So we'll go ahead and cut, and then we're gonna resume when we pull up. All right, so we're about to pull up here, and I mean, I literally shut the camera down for 30 seconds and powered it back up because he was so close to where he needed to go. Uh, it turned out a little bit better than I thought it would be when I pulled up. I mean, that spot was terrible. It was not a good spot, so I did what I could, best way I could with what I had laying around, so. Um, go ahead and pull up here to Brosuff and see where he wants this thing. Not like we have a lot of room here, so. Brosuff! I don't think bro stuff is here. Did you talk to him? Yeah. He said he was here. Or... Let I me mean, call him. He didn't say he was here. Let me call him real quick. Bro stuff. Probably set it down in front of the garage. Right. Well, he's not answering, so he's not going to leave me a lot of options on where to drop this. So I'm thinking. Um, where I should put this um, probably the yeah I think I'm just gonna put it kind of as far back as I can next to that trailer next to this car right here so that way cars can still get around it and stuff because I really don't have anywhere else where I can put it yeah so Joel's my boy if he needs help moving it later I'll come help him just because uh, we help each other out a lot. I've got a lot of good relationships with a lot of mechanics. Uh, the mechanic working on my Freightliner just called me, or actually just texted and called me, so I gotta hurry up and get this done and see what's going on with the uh, with the M2 Freightliner I just picked up. So I'm trying to get this, throw this off my truck as fast as I can here. I mean, I think you'll be okay. Where are you at? I'm on my phone. I mean, I can't really get it in there. It's broken ball joints, so you know what I'm saying? I don't think you're going to help me any, really. I'm just going to put it kind of next to your car so you can still, yeah, you can still back out. We got to be able to get cars in there. Yeah, I hear you, but you guys got to have room for tow trucks to drop shit, too, at the same time, you know? Right, exactly. But I'll, I'll leave your room so you can back out. I'll take it to my, uh, 
move, you might be able to swing back in that spot because I guess you guys are looking for Joe. Like I said, if it wasn't a broken ball joint car, yes, we can do that. But being broken ball joint, I'm limited. So it's going to go next to the white car so you can get that white car in and out. And then uh, that's really my only option, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I could tuck it in a little tighter, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Maybe if I just turn it a quarter turn, it would be all right. Thank you, brother. No, oh, sir. Airline or an extension cord? There is about as comfortable as I am doing that, so we're gonna go ahead and lift this up with the jack and then just get it out from underneath. I wish I was as lucky as you with cars, having cars this long, doing as good as it did. <laughs> Man, you need to go hit some scratch offs or something. As lucky as you are. This actually came from a dude that buys a newer Ford every 10 years. Are you serious? He probably gets it serviced all at the same dealer and everything too. I'm 
I'm gonna set it on a block or something or um, so that oh Joe's got a jack right there Thank God for that WD-40. It's funny because I preach about that stuff, man. As a tow guy, that shit's valuable. <laughs> it's good for everything. Literally everything. It cures with whatever ails you. People don't give it enough credit. That and uh, that mystery, Marvel mystery oil, oh, man. Yeah. They both like some kind of shit that's out of this planet. All right, so you're good there, bro. Let me go ahead and set it down on this jack, and then Joe can play with it all he wants. That way I don't just set it on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'd be a big thing. Yeah, because it really is. Otherwise I gotta put that jack in the, what's it called? Uh, middle of the frame, I don't like doing that. Okay, we don't wanna lift it super high. There. And Joe can actually drive it like that pretty close. Yeah. But what they do, he'll probably fix it here so that way he can pull it into the shop once he gets a ball joint on it, you know. All right, so go ahead, lock her up, grab your keys and everything, brother, and then uh, let me get cleaned up and I'll take some money from you. All okay, right. thank you, sir. So we're going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Um, as always, everyone, please like and subscribe. I do these videos to help you guys out. And that was just a quick little ball joint recovery call. So as always, stay frosty. Oz, Till Vibes, out.